Okie dokie. Have a little end of the day, six o'clock. So I've been doing this three hours. Um, this guy's all done. Uh, I think this is um, pretty okay. I've gone back far enough that I can tap into this line and bring it over here and then tee it over uh, to run it out to the production building. Um, and also this, this thing right here. Um, so I don't know if tomorrow if I'll take this out or not and um, use that tee over there. It kind of depends on if I have a tee or not. Um, and then also I have to be able to connect that, but I should be able, actually I should be able to connect that because it should have, <sighs> yeah, so it's gonna have a short piece here that I could just make longer. Um, <clears throat> wait a minute, can I do that? Well, I wouldn't have to have the runoff so I could take that T out too. And, um, but I would need, I need something to put these, connect these two, um, because it's gonna be cut over here, so I'm gonna need a connector of some sorts. So I can cap, I can do a T and cap it, um, or even better, take this T and use it as my connector piece over here, right there, and then run a new piece there and I can just leave that off and leave this all connected and everything and then all of this can come out. Um, so I got, I'm, I'm gonna need a little bit of work here probably to get this. I need three lines have to go through here. So they have to go over here, come through here. So there's gonna be one line that comes right here and goes to there to hoop house six. One line that comes here goes to hoop house five. And then there's gonna be two bigger lines here and uh, a one inch line. And they're all gonna come, they gotta come through here. One of the bigger lines will go into here for hoop house four. And then the one inch and the other bigger line will go down there to um, the future hoop house three. And then the other one has to run all the way across uh, the driveway. That's the one inch. And so then it has to tee off to go down the driveway on this side and then tee off across the driveway on the other side to go on either side there. Um, so I'm gonna see if the blade that I have is gonna be thin enough to fit inside of the opening that the guys cut me in the driveway. If it does, then I can just drag that out and drop that one inch line in and put the dirt in. If not, then I'm gonna to have to um, get the pick and probably just get it wet and pick it out and then put the one inch in there. But I can, I can run the one inch and just leave it on this side and still have all of this done here. <clears throat> so that's, that's what needs to get done um, as far as filling that all in and then um, being able to attach that. So then also tomorrow, I got to get around here somehow and I'm probably gonna have to go all the way around the house on the other side of the house in the front of the house and come back around this way to get here <clears throat> I'm gonna have to clean all of this out and hopefully this idea I had worked where there's a tarp underneath the hay and so I can just lift the, the plywood up and then pull on the tarp and pull it that way and that should expose the whole thing I'm hoping um, so that's where the the broken pipes are and stuff like that are right there and then um, I haven't decided what to do as far as getting water to the front yard but I need to cut this out right here and it doesn't have to be too deep which is good I, but I do need to cut this out along this orange line to attach it there and then I'm probably gonna have to come around here as my guess in order to um, install sprinklers there because I don't know where the other sprinklers are at and stuff so I'm just gonna probably just run a line there but I might be able to move the cut the so we can get in there a little bit better cut the um, grass 
along there a little bit better and bring bring it out and fill it into that uh, dip where the where the main line goes out to the hoop houses over there. And then I can use the Honda tiller and just till up a little bit and run the one inch line. And then we can kind of hopefully keep this maybe just um, as dirt so that um, it kind of stays away now that we have the lattice in there to keep the, the new puppy out. And uh, <clears throat> that way we can just have the, the sprinklers right there, be real easy to weed whack and we don't have to worry about getting the mower up against there and stuff like that. So that's kind of the plan for tomorrow. Um, I knew that I wasn't going to get a ton done today because I kind of wanted to get get used to um, the excavator, which I think I've done a pretty good job of getting used to. And um, this has really helped to be able to kind of like work out here and everything. So this is this is pretty well good to go. And uh, I should be able to get everything done that I need to get done excavating wise tomorrow whether I'll be able to get it all filled back in that's that's probably I might not be able to do that